This is my intro. This is my intro. Ugh. What's up guys, it's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another highly requested video. So I get a lot of you guys asking where I get my crop top from, but I actually DIY this and I always feel so bad telling you guys that because whenever I say something's DIY, it also means you can't get it anywhere else. So that is why I'm here with this video to show you guys how I made this because it's really simple and very, very easy. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. I also want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you guys by HelloFresh. When it comes to food, I am terrible. HelloFresh is just so convenient because of the fact that HelloFresh is just like, here Alexa, here are the ingredients, here is the recipe, here's everything like already pre-measured for you and all you have to do is just like cook it. Making food and prepping my meals is so time consuming. So the fact that everything is just like there ready for you and it's brought to your doorstep, oh, thank you, I do not have to do any of that stuff. I have been pescatarian for a year now so I'm very limited in the food options that I have and they're able to kind of just show you like there's so many different vegetarian options that you had no idea of. I also like that they keep it pretty simple and minimal from like the cooking to the cleanup just like everything in general and I feel like this week has been really exciting because I know in my fridge that there's like good food waiting for me and waiting to be cooked. For $30 off your first week of deliveries, all you have to do is go to hellofresh.com and enter Nava30 at checkout. I will also leave the proper links and everything in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check that out. And with all that being said, let's jump right into these tutorials. For this tutorial, you need half a yard of stretchy material, some matching elastic, scissors, pins, and a measuring tape that I totally forgot to film. First, you want to prepare your elastic. I'm cutting two pieces that are 12 and a half inches. I'm using fold over elastic because that's all they had in red, but if you guys could find normal elastic that matches your color, then I would recommend going that route instead. So if you're using fold over elastic, fold it in half and sew down the edges together using a zigzag stitch. After it's sewn, it will stretch a bit, so remeasure your elastic and cut it to size. The folded measurement of my top is about six and a half inches, but I'm going to add just a little bit more to make it a tad bit longer. From the bottom, fold up your material just enough so that it's the exact measurement that you need, which mine ended up being seven and a half inches folded. My width is 12 inches folded, and when you double the measurement and add one inch for seam allowance, you get 25 inches. Cut this width measurement and cut across the top to cut out your rectangle. These measurements are for a size small, but since you're basically just sewing a huge rectangle, I would just add an inch or two for every size up. At the top of your rectangle on the right side of your fabric, right side meaning the correct outside side of your fabric, you want to add one end of the elastic three inches away from the side edge and then the other end of the elastic eight and a half inches from that same edge. Then when that's done, repeat to the other side. Fold up the other side of the rectangle so that the right sides are kissing and sew a zigzag stitch across the top. Once that is sewn, invert your top. Match up your top seams together and pin around the edge leaving a 2-3 inch gap in the seam. So you guys know when you're folding your clean socks and you're able to invert one inside of the other, you're going to want to do that to this if that makes any sense. But you're basically going to stuff one end inside of the other. Once you're done pinning around, sew along the edge with a zigzag stitch. Invert your piece through the seam gap when that's done and to close up the hole I like to fold over and flatten the seam allowance and then I sew it closed with a straight stitch. I try my hardest to sew this stitch so that it falls inside of the seam on the outside of the top but really it's not that necessary if you can't do it. Okay, so now for this top, you'll basically need the same exact things, except I also have a sports bra for reference in this tutorial. This time for my rectangle, I will be cutting a longer length, about 8 inches folded, since it will have a deeper neckline, although it will have the same width of 25 inches. Fold your material in half and place the center of your sports bra on the center fold and cut out the neckline and the side. Thank you. 
for this top I cut the elastic to be 11 inches since this specific elastic is super stretchy. Again, add one end of the elastic 3 inches away from the side and the other end will go at the top of the peak. Honestly, the whole process is pretty much the same but with just some minor modifications. Fold over the other half of the material and sew your zigzag stitch across the whole top edge. I wanted to get super close to the elastic so I sewed my zigzag stitch as usual around the top edge first and then I went back in again and sewed closer to the top of the elastic using a straight stitch. Cut off any excess seam allowance and make a few slits at the neckline before inverting your top. Everything after this is pretty much the same process as the first tutorial so you guys could just look back in the video for reference. For this top, I didn't add the closing stitch inside of the seam because I wanted to show you guys that it doesn't look too bad if you're unable to get it right inside of the ditch. And those are my tops. I absolutely love these because they are so minimal and can go with every outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that also if you guys tried this tutorial or if you guys tried any of my other tutorials definitely tag me in the photos because I love seeing your guys' results and it just makes me so happy if you guys want to connect with me on social media all my socials are at the Nama Rose I think that is it for this video I love you guys all and I'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>